I'm Sally Potter and I've been doing research on this beautiful lake, Tapo Super Volcano. This volcano wouldn't be a very big problem except that it now has a town of 20,000 people sitting on its shores, the town where I grew up. So how will we know that an eruption is about to happen? Well, volcanoes tend to show signs of unrest and some of those lead to an eruption. The tricky thing is, quite often those unrest episodes don't lead to an eruption at all. Volcanic unrest occurs when magma underneath the ground forces its way up through the rock, interacting with fluids such as groundwater. That interaction can cause earthquakes, the movement of the ground up and down, and changes in the local geothermal fields. The scientists can then use this information and interpret it using their knowledge and experience to decide whether or not magma is moving up towards the surface and therefore whether it will erupt or not. Volcanic eruptions deposit ash on the ground which leaves evidence for people to come back later and find out how many eruptions there have been. Unfortunately, volcanic unrest doesn't leave any signs in the geological record like this. It's reliant on people living in the area and recording the events that they feel. In Taupo, these records of periods of unrest go back to about 1870. Over the past 140 years, Taupo Volcano has had 16 episodes of unrest. On average, this is one episode every nine years. This is more than we had previously known about. Some of those unrest episodes lasted for only one day, but on one occasion it lasted for three years. The most intense episode of unrest we've had occurred in 1922. The earthquakes lasted for about 10 months. Many of the earthquakes were large enough to cause damage. The unrest caused a fair bit of anxiety in the community, with some people evacuating from the area. We've had three other episodes of unrest at about the same level, in 1897, 1964-65 and 1983-84. Taupo is one of our many active volcanoes. Even though eruptions don't happen here very often, we now know that unrest does occur, it's quite common, and we can expect more of this type of behaviour in the future at this super volcano.